Hello. How are you? <clears throat> fine, thank you. And you? Fine, fine. Nice to see you. Hola, teacher. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. How are you? Nice. I walk into my house. And no sé si voy a llegar como dentro de media hora. Okay. Okay, perfect. Hmm. Vamos a ver. Tell me present as I call you. 25th today. <clears throat> 25th. Let's see, Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Ana Alicia. Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Claudia, Carolina. No, here, Claudia, Carolina. No. Diego. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Present, teacher. Edwin Mauricio. Present, teacher. Ok, hoy sí ya le escuché. Muy bien. Elmer Alexis. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Jonathan. Jonathan, Jonathan. Karen Janet. Karen Stephanie. Karen Stephanie. No. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Kevin René. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Okay. Present teacher. Noé Ortiz. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Mario Ángel. Luz Angélica. Joana. Present, teacher. Present. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. Present, teacher. Marina Vanessa. Presente. David Alexander. Present, teacher. Ok. Well. Good, good, good to see you. Okay. Well, nice to see you today. How was your day? It's Friday. <laughs> right, it's Friday, yeah. <clears throat> Do you work tomorrow? Luis Mauricio tiene karaoke. Sí, hoy es el día del karaoke, yes. karaoke de Mauricio. Yes, teacher. Ah. Ahorita vamos para allá. Ah, va. Ahí está, está. Ready for the karaoke. Yes, ready for the karaoke. I have to work tomorrow. You have to work tomorrow. Yes. yes. Oh. 
So you yes, work all day. All day. Yes. Yes, yes. All day. Sunday también. <laughs> <It's> Sunday <laughs> too. <laughs> yeah. Really? When is when yeah. is your day off, Carla? Uh, three days every fifty days. Every fifteen days. So every two weeks. Yes. Okay. I, I rest three days. Every so fifteen sorry. days you have three days week. Three days okay. free, three, three days off. <laughs> that's three days off. Hey, but that's nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. There nice. are many things that you can do when you have three days off, right? Vacation. Vacation. <laughs> Yeah. Plans for the vacation? No. No plans for the vacation? Cleaning the house. I know. <laughs> Don't tell me that because a couple of days, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Clean the house. But some other days I will sleep like if I have never slept in life. That's one plan. To sleep and sleep and sleep a complete day. Right? Okay. Well, we have plans for the vacation. <laughs> Any plans to go out? No? No plans to go out? No. Okay. Yeah, my plans are to watch TV and sleep. No, oh, my plan to <laughs> watch TV and that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the good thing that when you're at home is that you can get up early, go do well, prepare breakfast, have breakfast, do something, go to the sofa and sleep. Then wake up, make lunch, <laughs> do something else and go back to sleep. Right, so that works for vacation. Okay, nice. Well, we are going to do a review about- Hello, teacher. Hi, hi, hi. We're going to make a review of yesterday's class. Vamos a ver. Mario, hello. Hello, teacher. Quiero ver presentation, presentation. Ah, va, okay. There we go. Ahí está. Va, check. Remember yesterday we were talking about uh, things that you're not allowed to do at the library, right? What things you're not allowed to do at the library? Or you can say it is not allowed to. The structure is be allowed to. That's the structure, right? Be. Be because you can use. <laughs> Sorry. You can use any form of the verb to be depending on what you want to say and depending on who the subject is, right? You can use this structure not only, not only in present. You can use it in past, you can use it in future. For example, if you say, when I was a child, I wasn't allowed to... Okay. Mm. Play with soil. Okay. Well, but we did it all, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> We always did it. So I was not allowed to play outside the house, right? I was not allowed to play outside the house if my mother was not at home. But I always did it, I remember. I fell, I fell a couple of times. I remember once my mom said, don't go out. Remember the imperatives, right? You can also use the imperatives in negative and they can mean prohibition too. So she told me, you don't go out. Don't go out because I'm not going to be home. And I say, 
Yes, ma'am. When I got from school, I just ate lunch. And you know what I did? Directly to the street to play. There was a swing, swing es trapecio, right? There was a swing that I have no idea who put it, but it was for the children from the neighborhood. A friend of me and, and me, right? We were playing there and then she started moving the, the, the trapezio, the swing like this, turning around. Well, and it had been raining, the rope was not in good condition and it broke and I fell down over my foot. So I finished with my foot like this. When my mom was, when my mom got home, I don't know what I did for my mother not to, not, not to punish me because for being outside is that I had damage or I had hurt my feet. But imagine, so I was not allowed, right? That's why I say we were not allowed, but we did it, right? I was not allowed to go out to play if my mom was not home. Okay, so we can use the structure not only in present, but you can also use it in past. And if you're going to make, um, so if you're going to use a subject that is plural, you can also use where. Children were not allowed to go to school without uniform right? Without shoes, yes, no problem. They could go with sandals if they didn't have shoes, no problem. But they were not allowed to go to school without uniform, okay? So you see, we can also use wear. Now, we were also writing uh, some other questions or some other sentences using different subjects like you, he, she, they, the teachers, she, I. And we were saying that the subject, it depends on the subject you use, the form of the verb to be that you're going to take. Because remember the structure is be allowed. Yeah, be allowed, that's the structure, be allowed, yeah. So the verb to be will depend on the subject. It is not allowed to, or you're not allowed to. He's not allowed to wear long hair. Children are not allowed to paint their nails, right, to go to school. Teachers are allowed to get to school without uniform and I'm not allowed to go out early. I'm not allowed to finish class before the time, right? Well, I don't know if you have any questions about the structure, chicos. Do you have any, any questions? Mm -hmm. No questions. No question, teacher. Okay, now I will see if you really don't have questions. What you're going to do here is Look at the exercise, so look at the sentences. Complete the sentences. Can be positive or negative form or be allowed to, okay? Use positive or negative form of be allowed to, okay? In the first one. And, and check the correct tense for each of the sentences, yeah? Incorrect tenses, that means that they can be present, past, future, right? You have to see what is the form of be allowed to that you need to use. Okay, I'm going to send you in groups so you can help each other and you don't feel so lonely, right? Let me see. Sorry, teacher. Uh... Eso está en el manual. No. 
Oh, okay. Teacher, no capture la pantalla. Ah, no, es que ya se, se lo voy a pegar en el chat. Ah, ok. Ok. <risa> okay. Sí, la cosa es que si no dejo de compartir, no me deja copiar cabal todo. Vamos a ver. Acá en el. En el private. No, en, en el chat de WhatsApp. Sí. Checking. Ya casi se va. Ya, se fue. Ready, ready. Yes. ¿Mm? Sí, sí. Ya lo vieron. Yes, teacher. Ok. Ay, no. Um. I'm going to send you in, in groups. Vamos a ver. Group number one, I have Diego, Jonathan, Carla, Mario. Number two, Joana, Karen, Luis, Mauricio, Marina. Number three, Adriana, Dan, David, Luis, Edgardo. Number four, Claudia, Carolina, Karen, and Kevin. And number five, Carolina, Edwin, and Jose Alfredo. Okay, ready, ready. Did you see the, the, the exercise para que tengan así chance de copiarlo, pegarlo en un Word y estar listos para compartir? Ya, yeah, compartir. <laughs> Before I forget, right? But ready, now you will be able to share. Ready? Ready, ready? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, oh. perfect. Allá vamos. Nice. Nice. Jose Alfredo, try to join. Ahí está. Hola. ¿Qué, ¿Qué vamos a hacer? You have, to complete, you have to complete the sentences, Mario. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Remember the structure we were starting yesterday of be allowed to. Yes. Ok, that's what you're going to do. That uh, you have different subjects and you could use or you could need different tenses, not only present. Okay. Okay. Great, great. Who will share the screen? You can share, you are able to do it. Uh, alguien que esté desde la computadora que la pueda compartir. Carla, Carla, can you share? Yes. I don't share, teacher. I, I, I am to the cell phone. Okay, Carla will share it, Mario. Don't worry. Ya lo logran ver. Hoy sí. Yes. yes. 
we can see. In class, we... We are not alone. Oh, we are alone to come or no? Hola, hola, me escuchan. Mm -hmm. You are allowed to. Eh, no la deja Karen. Digo, Karen. Sí, sí, sí. Me escuchan. Ah, ok. Sí, sí, sí. Ok. Aquí está. Excelente. Mm -hmm. Teacher, ¿Mm? siempre es allowed to. Sí, allowed to. Hoy no lleva el to. ¿Se acuerdan que en las oraciones de ayer ya les había tirado yo el to? Aquí el to Ajá. no va. Entonces, aquí okay. está. Vía, y yo vea como que me está mirando a mí, pero, pero aquí, en lo subrayadito, ahí vea que ¿No? dice be allowed to. Y cuando dice be, eso significa que usted tiene que ver cuál forma del verbo To be es la que necesita. Correct, correct, correct. Be allowed to. So we are allowed to. Maybe or we aren't to allowed. We are, we are, we are allowed to shoe, shoe, shoe gum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are allowed to or we aren't allowed to. It can be negative, right? In class, we are allowed to shoe gum or we aren't allowed to shoe gum. In mm -hmm. emotion, in emotion, people. In class, are we aren't, not, aren't, aren't allowed. allowed. We aren't allowed to. We aren't allowed. Sí, we aren't to allowed. come. We aren't allowed to. Aren't allowed to take pictures. We aren't allowed in a museum. People aren't allowed to. Sí, siempre lleva to. Aren't allowed. Y en la uno le falta el verbo to be, Carla. No. Al, in class, sí. we are not allowed, allowed to. to. In the, in the number one is aren't ah, allowed. Yeah, yeah. We aren't allowed, exactly. We aren't allowed to. Pero puede ser are o aren't. Mm. ¿Está oh, permitido no. masticar chicle o no está permitido marcar chicle? No. <laughs> uh, Excellent. So are not or aren't. Sí, sí, no, you can put it with the contraction, no problem. Mm -hmm. Number six. Ay. Okay. Number six, six right? Mm -hmm. I am allowed to go out with friends late only at weekends. I am al mm -hmm. allowed to. Mm -hmm. I am allowed. I am allowed. Mm -hmm. Sí, allowed. I, uh -huh. am, I am allowed to. I am allowed to, yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> si me escuchan ahí jalando moco, pero... Ay, no, Joana. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> De repente. Sí, pues sí. Ok, next My one. Number seven. Seven. Kevin, please, okay. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin is allowed. Is allow his allowance uh -huh. to play video games after doing his homework. Le damos permiso de jugar después de haber terminado la tarea. Siempre sería verdad to play, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Play. Ya, número 8. Eight. Your children. Your children. What do you think? Your children. Your children. 
are not to, are not allowed, allowed to. Are not allowed yes. to. Uh -huh. The children. You are not allowed. Children are not allowed to. See, your children are not allowed. Uh -huh. uh, are not, not allowed, are not to, are play. Not no, allowed to play. Yes, are not allowed. You. Uh -huh. Sería you. Mm -hmm. But you. Are, you are. Mm. Teacher, we have a question. Uh-huh. In the number eight, eight. Uh, with think that we are we have the correct answer but we don't know because it's talking about your children but i mean our confused confusion is if the verb be it has to be structured for your or for children for children ah, because okay. it could be so, your children my children pero recuerden que children es plural Okay. Child, Thank you. children. Right? Okay. Yes. Uh -huh, because okay. it can be my children, your children, his children. No problem. El oh. Oh, okay. ¿Quién son los niños? No importa, pero son niños. Plural. Right? Okay. I have an observation with number three, chicos. <gasps> As in a bit. R. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because people. It's uh -huh. plural. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Exactly. People okay. are not allowed to, to smoke. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. It is. It is. It is. People eat is not allowed to. Hmm? It's really dangerous. Mm -hmm. It's not allowed to. People. People. La number three. Mm. One moment. Can I post that? Okay. Uh -huh. Number it is not allowed. Uh -huh. It is not allowed. Yeah, because it's dangerous. Yeah. Okay. And, and number 10? Kevin is allowed. Kevin, Kevin is allowed to play video games after doing his homework. Allowed to play video games. After doing his homework. Are allowed. No, por, ¿a cuál? ¿La 7? ¿La 8? La 8, your, chi, your children. Sí, la 8 sí es R. R. ¿Pero esa es puede o no puede? ¿Está permitido? Ajá, es que... Hasta eh, las cinco. Ajá, la verdad que sí, es como que le estoy permitiendo. See, your children are uh, allowed uh, to uh, stay in the street until 5 p.m. Pero ahí está diciendo que los niños juegan a las 5 en la calle, ¿no? No, que juegan. Tienen permitido jugar hasta. Tienen permitido jugar hasta. Es como un límite de tiempo que les están dando. Exactly. Not after 5. Until 5. A mí ya no me dejaban a esa hora. Ah, yo hasta las 7. Yeah. Ay, qué genial. <laughs> but there were all other times. I remember. I'm not thinking about it. <laughs> Because I played uh, before to eat, and then when we were uh, have dinner at the thing 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., we go out to play. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Me too. I remember once we were sitting outside in front of our house because all the neighbors went out to play at about 6, 6.30, 7, and as Anna said, sometimes it was 10 p.m. and we were running in the street yes. playing. 
with all the neighborhoods, all the, the neighbors. There were a lot of boys uh, and girls. Like fifteen so, cipotes. Sí, we used to <laughs> ladrón librado y mica. <laughs> Chocolate uh -huh. stop escondelero. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, arranca cebolla, right? So we used to play a lot in the street or sometimes we just sat down to listen to stories or to tell jokes. Pero ahora ya no juegan nada los niños. Yo he visto un montón de los niños afuera jugando con el celular. Ajá, exactly. Ya, yeah, once we saw a comet passing. I remember I was very little. I was about six or seven. And we were sitting in the in front of the house and we saw a comet. They said it was the Halley. Ah. The Halley. Mm -hmm. But it was about 7, 7 30 when it passed. And we saw the tail. We were like, oh, what is that? <laughs> and we told my mother, and she said, Ay, it's a comet. So you see. Things that we were in the street, we were able to see a comet. <laughs> mm -hmm. If no, we had do you made... remember? Do you remember when the uh, eclipse was? Yes. And I everybody do. was with a watal with water. <laughs> yes. You see the, the <laughs> yes, yes, and we were watching it on the on the wall. Yeah. Everybody, of course, everybody was scared of finishing blind, right? It was the first time in the story that uh, we were going to see a, an eclipse. And the, yes. uh, our parents saying every time that he, that they can, como diría usted, no veas al cielo, te vas a quedar choco. Ah, don't look up. You will finish blind. Yeah, that's true. And I was totally scared. <laughs> I remember I was totally scared because of that. But my and brother you remember and Claudia, Claudita mm -hmm. hadn't been born yet for that. Time. <laughs> no. No. How right. old are you, Claudia? Thirty-five years old. Yes, I am a little bit more. <laughs> <good>. <laughs> that was. In, two, in, in 1992, 94. Do you no, remember? Me. Like, I, I live in 1991. When... I don't remember exactly. 1990. 91. Well, menos, como en 1989, 1987. No. Yes, yes, no. I remember. I was like nine years old. Mm -mm. You know why I tell you no? Because I was already working. That's why I say it was after 1990 and 1991. 1991. Uh-huh. You see. You see, you see. Because I was already working by that time. 30 years ago. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Vaya Claudita, ya existía, tenía cinco. Yes, five years old. <laughs> but I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember, yeah, you were too. No. Little. You were too little. Probably your mother didn't let you go out at that Maybe. Point. She said, uh -huh. no. I was, I was, I was 15 years old. Yeah. How old was I? I was 20, about 17, 18, something like that, or 19, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine. <laughs> no, I was 20, because if it was 30 years ago, I was 20. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was 20. That's why I remember. <laughs> At that age, you have very good memory. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great, great. Uh, you're not allowed to. Karen, to... Stephanie, how old are you? I am 26 years old. 
Oh my oh. God. <laughs> baby. I don't have children. And, and look at I Anna. Don't think oh. have. Yeah. Whoops. Long, long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> and you. Hi, teacher. Sorry, ah. Perez. Va a ver toda mi pantalla. Este, vaya, tenemos una duda. Porque yo pienso que es toda la frase comienza con el be. Be allowed to. Entonces tenemos que conjugar las oraciones y poner, digamos, por ejemplo, la primera oración que es Plus. Ay, se me borró. No, ahí estaba, ahí estaba. La otra, la otra pantalla. Se perdió. Se perdió Grace. Creo que sí. Bueno, todos, parecía. Todos, todos, eh, ya me lo ella, la, ella la duda que tenía es que vamos a usar el B, A, B, A, B, R, no, allow, decía usar, pero el, yo pienso que el B está infinitivo y aquí lo tenemos que conjugar dependiendo la persona, ya sea con we, ya sea con you, ya sea con he y así cambiaría la estructura B. Exacto. Entonces ella que quiere ya usar el infinitivo be, así sin conjugación. No, desde, ese, ayer, ese, es, es... desde ayer estamos diciendo eso. ¿usted Ajá, puede? Sí, correcto. Sí, correcto. Yo, yo sí, este, yo, yo así le digo a la compañera de que este, ahí tenemos que conjugar el be con are, con is, con I am, con I am así. Exacto. Yo sí lo entiendo, teacher. Exactly. Ah, ese, ese era lo que le, eso es lo que le, le quería preguntar a la compañera. Ah, pero, sí. creo que... pero ya no uh -huh. pudo entrar. Bueno, igual. Ya no pudo entrar. Sí, sí, sí. Ya me los llevo. Sí, gracias, teacher. Ok. Vaya, mm -hmm. vaya. Let's see. In class, we. Vaya, teacher, voy a opinar yo porque I know that I... that... era be a love to. No. ¿Se acuerda? Vaya, usted no, estaba no. Eh, Grace. Grace. Sí. Estaba aquí al inicio de la clase cuando hicimos el repaso. No, teacher, no había eh, ingresado. Y estuvo en clase ayer. Medio. <risas> Ay, y no me vio el video, muchachita. Hoy no he tenido tiempo, teacher. Ha ah. estado todo locos, pero sí, lo voy a ver. El de la... Remember what we were mentioning yesterday. The, the structure is be allowed to, pero no significa que yo voy a decir I be allowed to. Mm -hmm. I cannot do that. You have to say I am allowed to or I am not allowed to. She's not allowed to. They are not. Right, so you have to use the correct form of the verb to be. Yeah. Ah, no es que la estructura en sí de fijo tiene que llevar el be. Claro que no. Uh, mm -hmm. Eso, eso tenía la duda yo, ah. que si lo tenía que llevar o no. Mm, eso sucede con el verbo to be bien, bien seguido. Por ejemplo, cuando ustedes están hablando del futuro y dicen... Eh, be going to, no significa que yo voy a decir I be going to, yo sé I am, a, I am going to, right? Entonces, la estructura se puede llamar be, pero este está en infinitive. Entonces, usted tiene que ocupar la forma del verbo to be que corresponde según el sujeto que está ocupando. 
Sí. Ah, ok, teacher. Entonces sí está bien como las habíamos hecho, solo que a mí ya de último me entró esa duda si no tenía que llevar el, el B siempre. Ah, no, 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 no. El B al ah, auto es el B solito, así en infinity, pero usted tiene que conjugar, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, thank you, teacher. Ok, vaya, hoy sí vamos al number one. In class, we... Are not, not allowed. Allowed. We are allowed or we are not allowed to? We are we not are allowed, allowed to. Vamos a insertar porque muy feo escribo. <ríe> muy feo escribo. No me queda bonita la letra. Vaya, vamos a ver. We, we are not allowed to. Sí, we are not allowed to. ¿Por qué are not? Entonces, a prohibition. It's a prohibition, exactly. We're not talking about something that is permitted, right? We're talking about something that is not a zoom. Bye. What about this one? In a museum, people are not allowed, are not allowed, are not allowed to. to take pictures. And the other one? At the cinema, I people are not allowed to smoke. La pereza, mire, lo voy pegando. <laughs> <laughs> Karen. Is not, not allowed, allowed to. to. Ajá. Karen, aquí le vamos a cambiar. Karen is not allowed to. Go out if she hasn't finished her homework. You? You, you are, are allowed, allowed, allowed to. to. Uh -huh. You are, you are allowed. allowed to. Or you see, because tomorrow is Sunday, right? Only because tomorrow is Sunday. So today you are allowed to watch TV late after 11 p.m., right? It's like a teacher. Because you're a teacher. And you have to stay up. <laughs> Especially if you are a teacher, you have to go to bed early, Luis Mauricio. Yes. <laughs> yes. Because you will be sleepy the next day. But what, about, what about this one? I I am allowed to. I am allowed to. I am allowed to. I am allowed to go out with my friends like only at weekends. I am. See, I am not allowed to go out with friends late only on weekends. No, but that this is affirmative. So I am allowed to. Yes, I am allowed. I am mm -hmm, allowed to go out with friends late only at weekends. Recuerdan que podemos decir at weekends o on weekends, de las dos son correctas, depende de, ¿de qué? Ajá. Sí, nos iba a decir, no, no le voy a decir, de, depende de qué. <ríe> a ver, ¿quién se acuerda? ¿Mm? We can say on weekends or at weekends, but depending on what. It is a positive. Yeah. No problem if it is affirmative or negative. Porque estamos hablando de una preposition, nada más. Pero depende de qué. Am I using British or American English? Ah, ok. British English at. American English on. Sí. El inglés gringo. On. Británico at. Ok. Vaya, vamos a ver, Kevin. He's allowed to play video games. Ajá, he's allowed to play video games. Affirmative, right? Kevin is allowed to play video games. After doing his homework. Okay, you finish the homework, go ahead, you can play. 
What about number eight? Your children are allowed are to allowed play to play in the street until 5 p.m. Uh-huh. Are allowed. Positive, right? They have permission. That, that's what it means. They have permission to play in the street until five. No later than five. At five, uh-uh. Come in. No more playing. Uh -huh. We were talking with Anna that in our times, ooh, when we were children, we used to play in the street until 10 p.m. sometimes, right? Until very late, but now it's not possible anymore. Okay, what about number nine? I'm sorry, Madame, but you are not you are not allowed, allowed to, to. On the call. I am sorry, Madame, but you are you are not right. Mm -hmm. You are not you allowed. Are not to allowed on the grass. To what is grass on the grass? What is grass? Chester. Exacto. Drama. Uh -huh. Sí. Vaya, miren, una cosa aquí. Que sé que algunos estaban con preguntas con respecto al your children, el nombre it. Recuerden que your es solamente un possession, right? That's a possessive. Possessive adjective. Your qué? Your children, your car, your dog, your television, your cell phone. Y el your no me va a dictar, ¿verdad? El your no me va a dictar eh, la forma del to be que yo voy a ocupar. Eh, la forma del to be me va a variar por children, no por your. ¿Sí? Can be your children are allowed to play in the street. My children are allowed to play in the street. Carla's children are allowed to play in the street. Yeah? Her children are allowed to play in the street. So no importa eh, si yo ocupo your, porque your solo es tus, tus niños, ¿sí? Sus niños, mis niños, los niños de ella, right? No me dice si es singular o plural. Lo que me dicta si es singular o plural es el noun, si el noun está en singular o plural. ¿Ok? Así es que tenga mucho cuidado allí. Yo podría decir, your car is allowed to park here. Bueno, no, pero es que el carro no es persona. ¿verdad? Your daughter is allowed to play in the street. Your daughter, one, singular. Your daughter is allowed, your children are allowed. ¿Ya? Yeah? Vaya, vámonos al last one. It is not allowed to jump ah. off the boat. Yes. It's really dangerous. Exactly, it's dangerous. It is not allowed. Me acuerdo cuando íbamos al zoológico. And the boys jumping in the bridge. Did you go to the zoo? Do you remember the zoo? With that bridge that moved. And the, and the boys were always jumping in the bridge. Mm. I imagine Luis Mauricio ha de haber hecho eso. Exactly. Right, Luis Mauricio? Yes. Karen se acuerda. Sí. Imagine, no, no, no. It is yes. Carla. ¿Ah? I did. You did it. You were... ¿Ah? Carla, imagine Carla jumping on the bridge. I remember. But when we went to the zoo, it was like, oh, no, the bridge is going to break. But when we went to the Saburo Irao, I remember my brother was very bad with me. He made me walk. Well, we were always going to the zoo. And after the zoo, we went to the Saburo Irao. So there was, a, there was a way that you could take a whole street mm -hmm. going up and down, yeah. up and down and around. So you go to the Saburo Irao. But that was too long. So he always made us cross in a space that was like this, 
pies. Sí, era un como un puente, no, que no era puente. No, es que no era puente, es solo una especie de... Como, como de cemento. Exacto. <risa> como protección de alguna tubería, quizás. Ajá, ay, imagínate. We always cross there, and it was very long. I remember that I was my dog. I am going to fall. But he always made us walk in that, in that way. So, no. <laughs> Mauricio, don't do that to your sisters if you have sisters, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you think. It's My not mom, allowed I... to jump in the boat. It's not allowed to jump in the broken bridge. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Vaya. Ahí está. Any questions here? No? Nice. Nice, nice. Now, we are going to work with the... I'm going to take you to the manual so you can see the whole story here. We will move, we will move manual. Donde estas manual? The manual se me esconde. Okay. Bye. We, we are going to move here. Check. We are going to move to this reading is on page K. 27. Page 27, you will look at the reading. This is an article about giving instructions to staff. Remember this week we were giving, we were practicing structures and we were also doing a exercise, other exercises, right? But today we are going to practice instructions here. What you're going to do is go through the reading and check true or false, right? But you will take turns to read the to read the, 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 the article. Let's read it together first and see if you have any questions, okay? If you have a question, you can stop or you can ask me to stop, okay? Number one says, don't assume they know what you mean. You, do, you know what they say. That assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be fool that as, don't be don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. With most people, is your office in your office or business will be intuitive and switch on. They are not mind readers. An imperative when delivering clear instructions is to not assume the recipient knows what you mean. And this can be for anything from industry acronyms to who to contact in different departments or organizations. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. So don't assume they know what it means. So you have to be very clear and explain, right? Now, number two. Remember, these are for giving instructions to the staff, right? That sometimes uh, you, you see people, new people in the company and everybody assumes that the pobrecito new knows what to do. Se fue contratado, ya sabe qué hacer, no, nobody told him, they don't know, right, do not assume. Number two, be clear and specific. Everyone loves a waffle dripping in ma maple cider, please, but no one likes waffle in conversation and especially not in an email or when it is a set of instructions. Will you don't want to ramble on in your set of instructions. That would be a waste of time. And to be honest, they will switch off. That is, they would, right? This, it's not very common, but they will switch off after a while. You do not, uh, 
you do want, cheque, cuando decimos you do want, like in this case, quiero ver, déjenme mi, si me miran, aquí, cuando decimos you do want, este do, lo que está haciendo es dármele énfasis, that means you want to ensure that your instructions are clear. See? You want to ensure that your instructions are clear. Pero para darle más énfasis, decimos you do want to ensure. See? You do want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific and concise. Personally, I prefer not to bother it up and would rather get straight to be the point, straight to the point on what needs to be action or delivered, rather than making the instructions too flowery, which will only confuse. Este B está de más. What's the meaning confused? Confused, confused. confused. Confundido. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you go straight to the point. A veces, a veces, uno tiende a dar muchas vueltas en vez de dar la instrucción directa y eso termina por confundir a la gente. Right? A ver, give time frames. Do not confuse matters by not being specific with your time frames and deadlines. What you consider as soon may be very different from your colleagues. If you think soon is the next couple of hours, yet your staff who you have instructed consider it to be in a few days, then this communication is going to have serious implications in any business or project. So be careful with this word, right? Para mí, soon is ya, empiece ya y al solo terminar lo manda. Right? But not for everybody soon means that. Ah, soon. Okay, pronto. A couple of days, no problem. Right? But uh, for different people, soon may have a different meaning. So give frames and deadlines. Right? Now, give examples. Whenever possible, make sure you give examples. This will be especially beneficial if they are new to the role. Or if they haven't carried out the task before. This will help to add clarity to the instructions and help form a clearer picture of what it is to mean and want. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to, I don't know if you have any questions uh, there. Questions. I don't know, teacher. <laughs> y hay una palabra rara. Esta. ¿Sí? sí, no sé qué significa esto. Es como wild. Wild, pero no el wild de salvaje, ¿verdad? Sino que el, este wild. Ajá. It's like wild. Because the dictionary says. It means during the time that, or at the same time as. Whereas, during which while. So, yo, yo, como para hacerse lo más fácil, while. ¿Verdad? Entonces, aquí en vez de decir whilst, podemos escribir de un solo while. And then you say, everyone loves a waffle. Uh, but no one likes waffle in conversation and especially not in an email or when it is a set of instructions. While you don't want to ramble on in, ramble on in your set of instructions, that would be a waste of your time. And to be honest, they would, remember this is would, switch off after a while. ¿Qué significa switch off? Como encender, activar. Desconectar. Se desconectó. Uh, le dio tantas instrucciones tan largas que al final se desconectó. Yo por eso, en este, en este aspecto, cuando me sale una palabra así muy extraña, 
prefiero darles o un, o un significado, como en este caso que while nos cambia rapidito, o la palabra en español, porque si me pongo a darles toda una gran explicación y un contexto del significado de la pregunta, para cuando venga a terminar, te van a decir, pues a ver qué era al final, y se fueron a googlear, a buscar el significado en español de un solo, y ya los perdí, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso sucede cuando no se dan las instrucciones muy, muy específicas o muy claras en la, en la Workplace 2. Any other question? Yes, the word wist is the same. Wisped. Wist. Rumble. Quiero ver Rumble on. It's W H I S T. W. Which? Esta? No, no, es, es en el primero. Es en el primero. It's in the first. En uh, the second line. Ah, sí. Es la misma palabra esta. Ah. Wist. Ok. Thank you. Uh -huh. Es wild. Pero aquí como que se comieron la L, va. Vamos a ver, pero sí, el significado, el contexto yo lo veo igual. Sí, sí, ahí se, se comieron una L porque ya whist así ya significa otra cosa. Es un juego de naipes de origen británico semejante al puente. Pero eso ya se sale de contexto. Entonces tendría que llevar la L como acá que es whilst. Right? Pero si lo ven en el contexto, you know what they say. That assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. While, ¿sí? While most people in your office or business will be intuitive and switch on, They are not mind readers. O sea que, aunque, aquí podría ser como, aunque la gente en su oficina sea very smart, ¿verdad? E intuitiva, no puede leer la mente. ¿Sí? Entonces no podemos asumir, muchas veces cometemos el error de asumir, pero no se puede, porque... Aun por más inteligente que la gente sea, no puede leer la mente, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es lo que nos está diciendo ahí. Any other question before we go to the groups? Uh -huh. ¿Ya saben qué es frames? Dar Un marco, right? O un marco, cuadro. Un marco, sí. Un marco o un tiempo. Remember here we were talking about saying soon. Ah, no problem. Do it soon. Es como, ah, lo hago después. Soon no significa lo hago después. Soon significa hágalo, o sea, ya, pronto. Right? Pero muchas veces el, el soon para algunas personas puede significar así. Ah, que lo haga después, dice. No, do it right now. And, and... Yo ten... Fast. Yo tenía entendido que era próximamente. Exactly, exactly. Pero eh, check what you consider soon. Para usted soon es próximamente. Para mí soon es, es ya. Trate de terminar en una hora, lo mucho me lo manda. Pero para otra persona soon podría ser así como oh, que lo haga mañana o pasado, dice, o la otra semana. Entonces, soon can have a different connotation depending on the person. ¿Ya? For me, Zoom es eh, Zoom. Ya, ya, ya. Para ayer, como dicen, ¿verdad? Pero para otras personas podría ser como, ah, pronto. Pronto es así como que, no se preocupe, ya lo hace pronto. Entonces no toman el pronto como, como ya. ¿Verdad? Ok, what about here? No new words here. 
no. Sí. But and remember that giving examples, ooh, you can save a lot of time because the other person will see what you're instructing and do things easily, right? Basha. Now, in your groups, I'm going to create groups again. Let's see. In your groups, what you're going to do is go through the text again and answer the questions, right? According to the article, is this is it fine to make assumptions? Is it important to go straight to the point to be clear and so on? Pero antes de que se nos olvide, vámonos a la tenis. Vamos a ver. Adriana. Present teacher. Analicia. Present teacher. Uh, Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Present teacher. Diego. Diego, Diego. He's having problems with the internet. Oh. Edwin. Present teacher. Elmer Alexis. Grace Mitchell. Jonathan. Present teacher. Okay, Jonathan. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Kevin. Present. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Noé. Present teacher. Rosailda. Present. Mario Ángel. Present teacher. Uh -huh. Luz Angélica. Bueno, está, ¿verdad? Eh, Joana. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Marina. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Okay. Ahí estamos. Very good. Bueno. Teacher, I'm sorry. I'm here. I have a problem with my internet. Ah, ok, Diego. Si sí, así me dijeron por allí. Thank you. Ok. Vamos a ver. Los mando. Teacher, a short answer on or large. No, give long answer. Bueno, long answer, ok. Vamos a hacer un cambio acá porque me quedan este... Me quedan en el grupo dos que están trabajando. Me va a quedar solito el pobre, este, pobrecita Adriana. Teacher. Hola. Este, no sé si me escucha bien. La cuestión es que todavía no he llegado a mi casa y tuve un pequeño problema de, bueno, un mal cálculo de tiempo. Oh. Y no he llegado. <risa> Vaya, pues lo voy a mover a otro. Perfecto. Gracias. <risa> Para que vaya oyendo. Thanks for telling me, José Alfredo. Vamos a ver. Diego, Karen, Marina, Mari. Aquí estamos todos. Bye. Ahí está. Nos vamos. Remember, go through the reading again and answer the questions. Give me long answers. Okay? Long answers. Allá vamos. But try to join. Yo voy a cerrar un ratito para pararme que he estado sentada todo el día. Vamos.
Marina, Marina, try to join. I saw. Vaya, José Alfredo, a ver si se logra unir, aunque vaya de oyente ahí en lo que presenta en la conversación. Eh, 27. 27. Yeah, yes. 27. 27. Okay, I am going to share the, the screen. Um, fíjese que esa computadora no me deja compartir. Ah, ahí está. Ok, nice. Vale, voy a dar un de tamaño. Ok. Lo único es que no me sale en la parte de abajo. Pero después lo mueve. Este, no problema. ¿Ah? No lo hago hacia la izquierda porque no me aparece el... abajo, abajo tendría que ahí, ahí está, ahí está. Ok. Va. Pero mucho. Idea. Ajá, exacto. Okay. Vamos a contestar las últimas preguntas, ¿verdad? En base a lo que hemos... Sería de que alguien lea la pregunta para que busquemos la respuesta. Ok. Eh, la pregunta dice... According to the article, would you find to the make assum assumption? Assumption. Eh, yo diría que es falso porque a nadie ajá porque pues si no podemos asumir lo que imaginamos why 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 in English in English why is it why is it false number one ah try to discuss it in English okay why pero me le digo. False because some circumstances cannot be assumed or understood at our discretion. Mm -hmm. Is okay? Yeah. Important to go straight to the point to be clear. In Maple, sweet, please. But no one likes waffle in conversation, and especially, eh, eh, no, and especially. Not in an email or when is it is a set of instruction. Wills, you don't want to ramble um, in your set of instruction. That will be a waste of your time. And to be honest, they switched off after a while. You do want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, and concise. 
personally, I prefer not to butter it up and would rather get a strain to be the point on what needs to be actioned or delivered. 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 Thank you, teacher. Delivered. Yeah. Delivered. Ra rather that making the instruction to flower. Delivering with clear instructions. Instructions. Instruction. Mm -hmm. Instruction to. ¿Cómo se dice ahí, teacher? Flowery. To flowery. Where are you? It's not eh, assumed. Ah. Eh, <laughs> este dice rather than making the instruction to flowery. Donde anda. <laughs> ah, no, number two, finally. Ah, line. okay, okay, okay. Finally, line. Okay. To flowery. Flowery. To flowery. Flower. Demasiado adornada, right? Uh -huh. Que tratamos Which... de adornar tanto la instrucción que al final nadie la entiende. Which will only confuse. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay number three. Este teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Frame o frames? O frames. 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 Yeah. Okay. That's a frame. Keep time, frames. Do not confuse matters by not be being specific with your time, frames, and delight. What you consider as soon. I think that is false, but... Uh, but for me, it's false. In English, in English, it is false because... In English, it is false, English, it is false, false because... Because... Because I think that you need to be more specific to people um, like to people, mm -hmm. how do you say it? To people understand what do you mean? Mm -hmm. Right? Because yes. Because it's important to be more specific. To be more specific, to people understand what do you try to say? What you try to say? You... <clears throat> okay, number one, number two, number two. It is important to go straight to the point to be clear. Um, yes. It's important to go. This it is in It is important to go straight to the point to be clear. Es importante ir al punto para ser claro. Creería que por ahí va. Ajá. En la primera sería no. Uh -huh. Sí, es que ya no lo pude cambiar. Me costó cambiar. Uh -huh. <laughs> People will go through with the generation of series, many words. Hi, teacher. Hi. Eh, ¿Está bien así de larga la respuesta? O perfect. No? Yes, it's perfect. Perfect. Okay. Before we get to the next one, we'll see. 
Yes. Uh, people yes. will get confused with the direction if we use too many words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Veamos que dice. If we use too many words. Eso está en el mismo párrafo número dos. En el dos. Dos, el dos. Vamos a ver. Justo después de donde terminamos la, la parte. Ah, sí. ¿cómo Donde colocamos la parte. Personally, I prefer not to butter it up. Uh -huh. And would rather get the strength to be the point on what needs to be actioned or delivered, rather than making the instruction to flower, which will only confuse. Es como bien amarrada en el número dos. Ajá. Aquí dice. Hay algún malentendido y si lo hay, ahí lo aclaro. Sí, pues, entonces. Mm -hmm. Lenguaje asertivo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces. Sería. Yeah, uh... No, sería rather than making the instruction to flower. ¿Qué es flower? Flower es muy adornadas. Mm, cabrón. Uh -huh. Ah, Como tanto emplear. Ajá, exactly. Que al final no se dijo nada. <risa> se dijo todo, pero no se dijo nada. Ajá, exactly. Como cantinfle. Ajá. Una cantinfleada. Ya. Yeah. Entonces. Sería yes y sería eh, deeper fresh. It's preferred. It's preferred uh, no es I prefer. I, I, en vez de mí. Sí, I prefer. I prefer. <laughs> y, rather funciona de la, uh -huh. y rather funciona de la misma forma. Sí, I'd rather get straight to I, be the point. Sí, I'd rather or I prefer. It's the same. Uh -huh. o, pero solo uno. O rather o prefer. O prefer. Ah. Ajá. Puede decir, I would rather. ¿Se acuerda que ahí decían they, they, right, they, they would? And, and would rather, rather get the strength to be the point. Yo sería, I would rather get the strength desde ahí para abajo. Ajá, ahí sería. Would rather get the strength to be the point on what needs to be assured or great. Strength. I prefer to, right? I prefer to. I would rather get the strength to be the point on what needs to be act actional. Y chequen que usan una expresión, una expresión. I prefer not to bother it up. Mm -hmm. Not to bother it up. That means not to get so friendly to the person, like trying to make them to do what I want. Right? Esto ayudará para tener claridad para tu decisión. Y la forma de ayudar. Con una... so, butter, butter it up es una expresión no de decir las cosas, pero no tan amistosos. Ajá, uh -huh. it's like to be very kind or friendly to someone 
or try to please someone. Uh -huh. So that that person will do what you want them to do. So don't be like so friendly with the other person or try to please the other person so they do what you want. Like what you do with children, right? Uh. That you <laughs> make the children feel so kind, so nice that at the end they do what you want. Okay, so that means butter it up. Mm -hmm. Le ponemos todo lo demás. Sí. Porque for me es only ir at point eh, straight. What about the others? No. Uh -huh. um, the uh hasta or deliver until or deliver. Yes. Mm -hmm. Rather get a strength to beat the point on what needs. On what needs to be accident or delivery. Yes. Porque ahí prácticamente en la coma es donde termina la idea. Number number four. Number four is. Dice que para evitar errores hay que ser bien claro. Time frames. To avoid mistakes. Mm -hmm. Me voy a dormir de una sola vez. No. Mm. Mm. <laughs> misunderstanding. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Understanding in the projects. Okay. Now the last one. Okay. It is fine if the employees <laughs> make a mistake. Maybe we can, Maybe we can show some. Que es este último. It's true, verdad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, ¿Por qué? Because. Uh -huh. No sé. Because. Dice. Mm -hmm. okay. True, because. Me you help me. Mm -hmm. I don't know. 
Creo que podría ser because with example you can have a clear clear clearer picture of what you need. Exactly. Okay. You can have clear. Teacher, how, uh, can you pronounce clear? Clear, it's okay. Clear, 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 clear. 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 Okay. Or clearer. Mm -hmm. Clearer. Huh? Clearer. 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 Example, you can have a clearer. And you have to use you a clearer ex a clearer picture or have mm -hmm. clearer. No, <clears throat> clearer picture. It's okay. Ah. Okay. Uh, clear. Clearer is. Um, eh, una idea clara. Ajá, ajá, más clara. Más clara. Ajá. Más clara. No es clearest. Clearest. El EST, teacher. Clearer. No. Clearer. Clearer. Ajá, clearer. A clearer no, picture. Ajá. O sea, una, una, you... Un panorama más claro, digamos. Ajá, y el EST es para comparar, ¿verdad, dicho? Ajá, exacto. Y aquí no estamos comparando. Estamos maximizando. Está comparando, <risa> realmente está comparando. Pero cuando es que usted... Por eso dice, me confundo, ajá. Sí, es, es que es comparando esta idea con otras, ¿sí? O comparando este panorama con este otro. Entonces quiere un panorama más claro. Yeah. Clearer. Clearer. A clearer picture. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what you need for your team. Okay. We finished, teacher. It's a clearer picture. Uh -huh. You better. No. No. Okay. Terminamos y aprendimos muchas dicho? cosas ahora. Yes. Así es, cuando lee se aprende mucho, mucho vocabulario. Yes. Es de, de, de my understanding. Misunderstanding. What is the mean, teacher? Misunderstanding. Miss, yes. es mis o mis. Misunderstanding, sí. Misunderstanding es cuando eh, comprende algo, pero no, no lo comprende bien. O lo mal entiende. Mistake. Mistake, understand. Mis, misunderstanding. No. Ok. Mis de, de M-I-S-S. Misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. Que lo entiende mal. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. O lo mal entiende. Mal entiende. Ah, ok. To uh, avoid. Avoid is correct, teacher. Avoid. Avoid, yeah. Yes, avoid. But avoid is, for example, if you say, hmm, I'm going to avoid making mistakes. Voy a evitar. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. To avoid okay. misunderstandings. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Okay. I avoid the class. Ah, <laughs> ah teacher. And you know when, when I was reading that sentence. You make you you make the the ¿cómo se llama? Yeah, tiro la piedra, ma, ma, ma. Yeah. <laughs> when, when I was reading that sentence, I was thinking about something this afternoon. <laughs> that a student wrote to me and say, Miss, I didn't, uh, I hadn't noticed that I hadn't uploaded the assignment. <laughs> Until when do I have to finish it? And I said, do it and send it to me as soon as you finish. And now I think for me, soon is one thing, but for the child, 
he can say soon allá cuando quiera terminar. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so I will have to tell him, hey, but as soon as you finish, it's ayer. <laughs> no, next week. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, because unfortunately, the meaning can, can, every person can give a different meaning to it. Bueno, I guess you finish, right? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, me los llevaré entonces. Okay, teacher. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Me debe la regia, acuérdese. Ah, yeah. <laughs> ya, nos vamos, ya nos vamos a poner de acuerdo. Es que me enseñé. I'm silent. Vaya, ok. Vamos a ver. Ready, 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 ready. I'm going to share so we check answers, right? A ver, number one. According to the article, it is fine to make assumptions. True or false? According to the article, false. it is fine to make assumptions. False. 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 Why? False. Why? false. Why? Because it's important to be more specific to people understand what you are you try to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So people will not read your mind, right? Yes. People cannot read your mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is important to go straight to the point to be clear. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. People will get confused with the directions if we use too many words. I think that is true. Yes, they will have problems if we use too many words. <coughs> to avoid misunderstanding, one should be very clear in time frames. What do you think? True or false? Hmm? To avoid misunderstandings, one should be very clear in time frames. Time frames. True. Why? Could you Why? repeat the question, please? Number four. Oy. Number four. Why? Because uh, you should give a specific date. Dates are your for you to avoid misunderstanding in the projects. Mm -hmm, exactly. If you tell them, do it, do it as soon as you can, I say, ahorita no puedo, después, 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 and that time can be longer, right? It is fine if the employees make a mistake. Later, we can show examples. Uh-huh. It is fine if the employees make a mistake. I personally think that is false. Because you need to explain with examples before they make the mistake. Okay, so it's better to give them an example, right? Not to wait for a mistake, yes. correct it, exactly. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Questions? Questions? No, vaya, no, pues. teacher. <laughs> <laughs> vaya, let's see. We have some exercise here. Remember another structure we were using in this unit 
was, there is, and there are. Let's do it. Questions, some questions, right? So how do you use there is and there are in questions? Mm -hmm. Is there any paper in the printer? Yeah. Is there? Is there any paper in the printer? Paper no contable, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yes. A ver, number okay. two. Number two. Are there, are there, are there any computers available? Ah, available? Are there any computers? Are there any computers available? Number three. Enough personnel at your company. Is there? Mm -hmm. Since so, are, are there? Is there enough personnel at your company? Es como team, que es un grupo de personas, mm. pero la palabra es considerada singular. The same happens with furniture. Furniture is a group of things like chairs, tables, sofas, pero la palabra furniture es no contable. ¿Sí? The same mm, okay. person. Vamos a ver number four. Are there many Are conference there many rooms? Conference rooms in the workplace? Aha. Uh -huh. Are there many conference rooms in your workplace? What about number five? Is there much light on your workplace? Uh -huh. Is there much light in the workplace? Number six. Are Is there, there, there many things to do every day? Are there many things? Many things. Are there many things to do every day? Are there many things to do every day? And what about the last one? Are there good places? Are there good places to have a break? Have a break. Mm -hmm. A ver, think about your workplace, right? Vamos a ver, Carla, is there any paper in the printer in your workplace? Think about your workplace, right? Is there any paper in the printer? Yes, there is or no, there is. Yes, there is. Okay, Carla, ask the second question to so far in class. Pregúntele a, a, a quien usted quiera. Carla, can you see the screen? Carla. Pero. Carla, pregunte la, la pregunte la pregunta. <ríe> Haz de cuenta. Eh, are there many air conditioner? Number two, Carla. Are there many air air conditioner in the office? Number two. Number two. Number two. Uh, number two. 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 Okay, the yes, there are many computers available in my company, but that's it. Okay. 
Vaya, no he asked question number three. Ok, ok. Cero, uno, oh. tres, cuatro, cinco, ocho. Eh, no David. Cero, ¿A quién? David. David. Ah. Ok, ok. Is there enough personal, personal in your company? Yes, the, yes, is enough personal in, at my company. Yes, there is, right? Okay. Yes, there is enough personal at my company. Okay, David, ask question number four. Okay, uh, Adriana. Uh, are there many conference rooms in your workplace? Yes, they are many conference rooms in my workplace. Okay, Adriana, ask question number five. To Diego, is there much, much light in your workplace? Yes, there is much light in my workplace. Diego, ask number six. Okay, let me see. Uh, mm, 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 Grace? Grace Michelle, are there many things to do every day? Yes, there are many things to do every day. Ask number seven, Grace. Are there good play up? Es que tenía que elegir a alguien, mira, espérenme. A Mauricio, ya pasó, no. ¿Cuál de todos los Mauricio? Ay, Luis Mauricio. A su compañero. Cabal, exacto. Okay. Yes. Are there good places to have a break? Yes, there are uh, good places to have a break. Okay. Yes, there are good places. There are good places. Yes, there are good places. Mm -hmm. Nice. In my workplace and my city. <laughs> I know. Allá en yes. el Parque Concordia. Bye. Exactly. What you're going to do here, this is, miren, y acabamos. Ve. Ta, 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 ta. You have 10 minutes to do this exercise. No, tienen menos porque después lo vamos a revisar. <laughs> no tienen 10, tienen 6. I mean, what, yeah. what you're going to do is put the words in order to make sentences. Le voy a dar 5 minutos and then we check. Ok. Ok. Uh, the first. Háganlo solitos primero, después lo vamos a checar. Oh, ok, dicho. Para que no le copien. Ok, dicho. <ríe> ah, yo voy a empezar a pasar lista mientras ustedes trabajan. Y después revisamos. Ok, vamos a ver. Bueno, como ustedes tienen el manual, lo voy a quitar un ratito. Let's see. Adriana, Marcela. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Carolina. Present teacher. Claudia, Carolina. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. Edwin. Present teacher. Elmer Alexis. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Jonathan. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Kevin. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. 
Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Noé. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Mario Ángel. Present teacher. Luz Angélica. Joana. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Marina. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Nice, nice, nice. Fashion. You have 10 minutes. No, ya no tienen 10. Tienen a couple of minutes to finish and then we check. Okay. Yo los voy a vigilar ahorita en la plataforma para ver cómo van while you finish there. Grace Michelle, Grace Grace, yes, teacher. estamos a 32 en la plataforma, sí, pero hoy la completo todita, teacher, ok, José Alfredo, estamos a 52 en la plataforma, No estamos a 60. ¿Cuánto me falta, teacher? ¿Quién, no es? Yes. A 60 estamos, le faltan dos. Y el examen de medio curso. ¿Verdad? Recuerden que este día se nos hace más porque toca el examen de medio curso también, que, que hay que terminar. But tomorrow is Saturday. <laughs> no, por eso yo recojo notas hoy. ¿Verdad? Tomorrow is no clases. <laughs> for you. For yes. you. For me. No. <laughs> yes, yes. Sorry, teacher. Be sure, be sure that you complete it today. Sí, no, a mí me gusta dejarlo terminado hoy, porque el sábado es otra historia. Imagínate qué tal me duermo y a las ocho tiene que estar listo. Verdad, así es que be sure, be sure, be sure. Vamos a ver aquí. Sí. Jonathan, ahí está muy bien, Jonathan. Comienza cumplida. Very good. Vamos a ver, Karen Stephanie. Ajá. Si yo ayer anduve ya buscándolos a ustedes, a ver cómo iban. Carla Lorena. ¿Cómo te parece, <ríe> 
I está very good, Kevin. Okay. Wow. Vaya, did you finish? Can we check it now? Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yo pita, No. Ah, recuerden que el mínimo que necesitan tener es 80, ¿verdad? Eso significa que no me dejen ejercicios en 60 y 60, unidad 1 y 60, unidad 2. Porque al final 60 más 60 no va a sumar 80, ¿verdad? Así es que watch, watch, watch that. Perdón, teacher, a mí se me cortó la llamada. Eh, los míos ya la aparecen completo, ¿verdad? ¿Quién? Vamos a ver. Luis Edgardo. Y sí, Luis Edgardo, usted sí ya está completo. Súper. Mi entonces una preguntita, fíjese que en el primer periodo, perdón, en la semana pasada, o sea, en las tareas de la semana pasada, no esta, creo que me quedó entonces una tarea con 60, ¿podría usted revisarme si está completa? Vaya, vamos a ver. Ana, no, está completa. Tiene 50, pero en el promedio de tareas, ¿verdad? Porque llevan dos ahorita. Muchas gracias. Okay. Marina. Vamos a ver cómo va Marina. ¿Cómo voy, teacher? Eso quiero ver, pero no la encuentro. <risa> Me perdió. Marina y, Mar y, y José Alfredo. Ando buscando. Aquí está José Alfredo. José Alfredo está en deuda conmigo. No, Marina, no la encuentro. Está mm. pildida. Quizás en la otra página, no sé. O oh, sí. Ahí está, ya la encontré. Ahí voy más o menos. Sí, tiene 92, está bien. Hoy oh, ahí hizo el midterm, muy bien. Ajá. Así me llega. Uh -huh. Very good. Ahí está. Very good. Ahí está. Muy bien. Eh, esa es la idea, ¿verdad? Que, que si no, yo sé que con el trabajo cuesta. ¿Verdad? Que, pero que si no logran ir adelantando, por lo menos no se vayan atrasando. ¿Verdad? Porque sí, mañana es sábado, pero como igual trabajamos mañana. <ríe> que sea sábado. ¿Verdad? Entonces mejor, mejor ir así. Despacito, cinco minutos. Y se va. Despacito, despacito, despacito. Cuando vienen a sentir, pues ya, ya estuvo. ¿Verdad? Vaya, vamos a checar ese ejercicio rapidito. Let's see. Number one. You are not allowed to wear informal clothes. Ok, very good. Thank you. What about the number two? Number two, employees, employees are not allowed to smoke. Employees are not allowed to smoke. Very good. And number three, children. It's not it's allowed. allowed to bring. Ah. Children okay. is not allowed to bring it. Exactly. It is not allowed to bring, to bring children. Mm -hmm. Nice. Number four. 
we are not allowed to extend our Teacher. lunch time. Mm -hmm. En la tres hay un, en, la, en las letras que dan, las palabras que da, hay un in. No, y no lo puso. Bring in. No, no sé. Ok. Ah, oh, pues sí lo tenía bien. Uh -huh. To bring in children. Como que trae niño adentro. <risa> ¿Verdad? ¿Cómo se traduce bring in? Traerlos aquí adentro. A la oficina. Uh -huh. Vaya, y a la number four, we are not allowed to extend, to extend our lunch time. To extend our lunch, our lunch time. Our lunch time. Sí, a veces quisiera uno, ¿verdad? <laughs> Vaya, y la number five. People are not allowed to check loud. in like. People are not uh, uh, allowed. Allow the checking late. Check in late. Check in late. People are not allowed to check in late. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Any questions? No question. No hoy, question. Hoy tiene question. que estar terminado el midterm, no, ¿verdad? Sí, hoy tiene que quedar terminado el midterm. Y okay. hoy es class number 10. Karen Janet se queda conmigo. Karen Pita. Bueno, see you Monday. Have a nice weekend. Good Have a Monday. Good night, Good night everybody. Good night. Have a nice weekend. Bye. weekend. Bye. 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 Take care. Take care. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Hi, hi, Karen. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Vamos a dejar de compartir aquí. A ver. How are you? How are you? <laughs> I can say I can't 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 say I por eso yo los paso molestando que no dejen las cosas para el viernes ¿no? porque el viernes todo se se acumula se todo se uno complica. ya ya no ya trabajo toda la semana entonces ya mañana es sábado estoy en el medio de campo se siente más pesado ¿verdad? Uh -huh. sí, sí a ver, cuénteme. Do you have any questions? Quizás solo de, de la página 27 que estuvimos viendo lo de, de este artículo. Uh -huh. Tuvieron palabras que sentí que me costó pronunciar. Vamos a ver. Ah, porque, por ejemplo, sí, creo que le pregunté el de Friends. Le pregunté a Friends. 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 Eh, Azun, uh -huh. primero empieza con Azun. Azun es verdad, Azun. ¿Cuál? Assuming. Eh, number one. No, Ajá. Assume. Assuming. Assumption. Assumption. Pero Assumption. No. Assumption. Voy a borrar este relajo que tengo aquí. <ríe> ok, Assumption. Assumption. Vale. Y donde dice... En la línea 4, intuitive, así, in, in, Intu no. intuitive. 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 Okay. Intuitive. Intuitive. And switch it or switch or switch. Whilst. Whilst. This one. Right? I says will. Uh -huh. Whilst. Side of. Sairo. No, ese sí, Sairo. Ese sí. Sairo. A ver, ah, otra cualquiera. Waffles, así como se. Waffles. 
guafo. Yeah, guafo. Ah, yo guafo. Uh -huh. Concise. Ajá, concise. 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 Flowery. Ahí está otra. Ajá. Flowery. 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 We, we only confuse, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Confuse. Bye. En la tres, do not confuse. Matters, aquí, matters. Butter, no problem with butter it up. Butter it up. Butter it up. Ay, Dios. Butter. Butter, butter it up. Es que vaya, cuando una palabra termina en consonante up. y la otra empieza en vocal, como que se jala. ¿Se acuerda de los diptongos? Sí. Vaya, uh -huh. entonces... Que se jala la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Porque está un consonante vocal, consonan, consonante vocal y después otra consonante y después otra vocal. Entonces, por eso es que se hace como que si fuera una sola palabra, border it up. No decimos border, border it up, sino que border it up. Ajá, ajá. Así lo pronunciamos. Uh -huh. Ajá, border Decimos, it up. I prefer not to border it up. <laughs> Ajá, pero no. I, I prefer, prefer. I prefer. Si no. ahí esta. Ajá. Uh -huh. I prefer I no to border it up. Border it up. Border it up. Okay. Rather. Uh, I say rather. 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 Straight. Yes. Straight. 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 Yeah. Straight. Deliver. What needs to be actioned. Mm -hmm. Act, uh -huh, antes de deliver, actioned. 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 ¿Se, ¿Se acuerda cuando hablábamos de los verbos en pasado? Que, sí. Este, por la pronunciación y todo eso. Entonces aquí decimos to be actioned. Like d, d, d. To be actioned. Ah, pero es acción. Pero Action. aquí es acción. Action. Action. Action or delivered. Action or delivered. Action or delivered. Yeah. Deliver. Delivered. Deliver. 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 Okay. Ah, pues sí. Es que solo es cómo se van a practicar porque como hoy sí sentimos difícil bueno de hecho lo estuvimos conversando con los compañeros cuando leímos de que sí lo sentimos difícil esto para leerlo porque hay palabras que no conocía es que un montón de palabras mire switch uh -huh. si se fija aquí es action d action d y este es switch action. esta es la finalización d d Action, action, pero este es ch, switched, switched, it's like watched, watched, yeah, uh -huh. intuitive, esa, intuitive, ajá, uh -huh, esa, intuitive, 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 intuitive. Uh -huh. organization, cuando tenemos una palabra que termina en Sean, el estrés va acá. Organization, station, television, Communication. demonstration. Entonces, el estrés va en la sílaba anterior, anterior a Sean. Va en Sean. español, cuando una palabra termina en Sion, lleva acento, ¿verdad? En la O. Pero en la o. En inglés, uh -huh. cuando una palabra termina en Sean, como no existen los acentos, sino que la fuerza de voz o el estrés, el estrés va en la sílaba antes de Sean. Aquí, por ejemplo, instruction. Conversation. Uh -huh. Conversation. Instruction. Organization. Organization. Uh -huh. Organice, se, session, organization. Organization, organization. Exacto, exacto. Ahí es donde va el estrés. 
Okay, thank instruction, you. mire. Instruction. Ah, bueno, aquí estaba instruction también. Instruction. Uh -huh. Vaya, vamos a ver acá. Frames. Ajá, frame. frame. Es que siento que la pronunciación es como de amigo, friends, ¿verdad? Ah, friends. ah pero ese es friends. Friends. Y este friends. Es frame. Mm. Frames. Ya, yeah, frames. Frame. Ok. Yes. Frames. Mm. Deadlines. 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 Soon. Ah, yo dije deadline. Ah, este dead. 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 Uh -huh. Ajá. Bueno, deadline. Dead. Soon. Deadline. Soon. Colleagues. Sí, este ya nos había enseñado. Colleagues. Colleagues. Tenés couple. 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 This is a couple. Couple. Ka. Ka. Couple. 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 Mira Couple. que hay otra que termina en shombe. Communication. Uh -huh. Communication. Commu. Mu. Commu. Communication. 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 Uh -huh. Shon. Sh. Communication. Sh. No chong, sino que shong. Communication. Uh -huh. Communication. Implication. 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 Uh -huh. Business. Business. Uh -huh. Business. Serious. 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 Uh -huh. Serious. Serious. Matters. 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 Matter. Matter. Como que si fuera con R. Matters. 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 Yeah. Do not confuse matters. Uh -huh. Do not. Do not. Do not do, confuse matters. Do not. Do not, do not, not confuse my matters. Matter, matter. Being. Este es un in más largo. Being. By not being, being specific. Being. Being. Mm -hmm. Ok, teacher. Ya, este era el más fácil. <ríe> el número cuatro. <ríe> Ah, pues, solamente, teacher, thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Ahí estamos. Entonces, nos vemos hasta el lunes primero, Dios, y muchas gracias por primero. todo. A dormir. Ay, sí, al fin. Gracias, yeah. Feliz noche. Gracias. Claro que sí, a la orden.